Robbo, that was a rollercoaster ride. How do you sum it up? Yeah, um, yeah. Obviously, really poor to start the game. You know, it's pretty obvious there that um, you know they won a lot of the um, battle for the ball and battle for field position, and then you know some uh, you know poor execution of obviously the scrum defence, and then second try was obviously a bit contentious there, but we've still got to wrap that ball up, and then you know. They just they just jumped us for energy, um, you know. They had good line speed, and then um, yeah, and then second half, uh, yeah, absolute sort of courage and clarity on how they wanted to play, led by Kez and, and a lot of guys. And um, yeah, I was just yeah really proud of uh, yeah just the effort and also the the ability just to stay on point about and everybody just to dial into a. A game plan and, and go after it, and you know, and almost do the impossible. So, losing Teddy and Sam in that first half must have been hard to watch. First of all, how are they? Are they okay? Uh, yeah, they're okay. I didn't have a lot of time. I talked to Ted at half time, and he was he was getting his memory back there, and then Seb, Sam said he was fine. Um, the second half. Where you obviously, you know, got back into the game and took control. Mate, how did you do that when you had so many key players out and obviously so many, so many sort of things going on, chopping and changing? Um, a heart. Yeah, it's pretty embarrassing to be honest. Um, yeah, it was just, it was just heart. Like it was just attitude. Um, obviously, we were pretty clear about what we wanted to do, but we knew it was going to be hard. But it was pure attitude, but it's embarrassing. Probably, what did you have to say? Because you said the turnaround was quite stark to score 20 straight points with 12, and then to score again with 11. What did you What did you tell them at half time? Yeah, we just we had a discussion about the effort, about how we were going to um, forget everything that's gone on, and 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 you know we believe that we could win the game. That was the first thing we talked about believing that we could win. Um, we needed to show heart. And everybody needed to, to to make sure that they were on all effort areas, everything that they needed to do. And then we had um, defensive game plan, and then an attacking game plan. We had to go through that at half time. And boys went rightio, let's go. And then they went after it. You know, they you could they could feel the the energy of each other, the way that the wingers from winger to winger, the whole line worked for each other. That was, you know, it showed, you know, the team that we want to be. I was going to say, sorry, it looked like there's a lot to get through. But it looked like Dom Young may have hurt his ankle before the incident. Then Victor as well early came reeling out of a tackle. No, they're uh, okay. Yeah, Dom hurt his ankle, you know, just before that play. Obviously, I think when he got tackled there, and then um, yeah, Rads. I don't know. I don't. He could be injured, but he would. You wouldn't know. Well, um, how is Dom just after been sent off? And what do you make of the decision? Yeah. Hit high and it's not good for Blake. Obviously, you know you don't want to see that. Um, you know, and it hit him in the jaw, but it was it wasn't a swinging arm. It was open-handed. Was lower than shoulder height. You know, it's just a, I. Um, if that's the standard, that's fine. But that's a new one for me. I feel like that's lower than what's been sent off before. You know, it just feels like you know. We can set a new standard here again. That's how it feels. And then Rads has won. I mean, Rads was ridiculous. Mm. That was... Connor's the one that tackles him from behind and twists his ankle, and then he falls on that ankle. You know, that was... That, that, how they got that to that decision, that, that's incredible. You know, it's just... That was below par. Going back to Dom one just firstly, yep. so, like, from what you're saying there, did you sit, where did you sort of feel like it fell in line with, like, is it what you would usually believe would be sin bin or usually believe... Definitely you... sin bin. Yeah. You know, Blake's got, you know, concussed from that. Um, but, yeah, again, you know, I don't have all the send-offs in mind going through the mind, but, you know, it was pretty... Um, uh, we've had guys uh, stay on the field, not even go for 10 for less, you know, and, and I feel like... I feel like that was uh, a bit over the top. If that's fine, if that if they come out and say radio, that's the new. There'll, there'll be a lot more send-offs in our game. There should be if that's the case. And, and just I guess Michael Jennings 
in a lot of things that happened tonight, played his first game in three and a half years. Yeah, thought um, he was great. Yeah. You know, he's been playing that way, training that way, and uh, really nice to see him play, get out there and um, and show that he's still got gas and he's still got effort. And, you know, it was really nice. Did you have a plan for him, Robert? Like, as in, were you, were you thinking at some point during the season he'd make his way into the side depending on injuries or were you sort of waiting oh, to no, get I didn't fitness, even know or? if he'd make the squad, to be honest. You know, he, had, he was on a 14-week trial there and you know he's 10 kilos heavier and you know his purpose is really clear about why he plays the game now and you know with his family and wanting to 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 rewrite his name in the right way and do the right thing so his purpose is really clear he worked really hard and you know I've really enjoyed watching him play in Reggie's. I was say we touched on James Tedesco before the concussion but when you see him lie on the ground looking obviously there has been a bit of a history there with him like, does that... What, what goes through your mind when you're seeing that? Because it looked no. bad. No, I don't really have a comment on that. Robert, you, you know, you talk about courage, but what about the guy sitting next year and the role that he played in the second half? He basically ran yeah. himself, you know, ran yeah, himself into the ground. it was amazing to watch him, him play and, and, you know, that's when I love watching Kez play, when he's got a bit of fire in the belly and he's sort of running around and running and passing and directing and kicking and, you know, and, and you know, forced on him there. It's good to have a, a mate to do it with, but I liked watching him play tonight. It was amazing. Have you ever played in a more dramatic game than that kick? <clears throat> I not about dramatic. I said before, we're, we're pretty embarrassed and disappointed by our effort, like, to turn up like that as a playing group is not good enough. Like to turn up at this time of the year, it's not good enough, so... Is there anything... We have a good look at ourselves. Is there anything you can put that down to? I mean, no, we need to sit down and look at each other and figure it out. This year, NRL on 9 is your one-stop shop for all footy. That's right, Freddie. Not about the highlights. Action. Seven days a week. Billy and Gus podcast. Get that on your drive on the way home. Immortal behaviour. Grab a seat on the couch for that, and of course, my favourite, Fred in the Oak. The best footy brains, the biggest games. Don't trust the algorithm, subscribe to NRL on 9 and get all your entertainment there.